Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the Marco Refined Fine Art Set of 24 Soft Oil Pastels. So this is a bit of a mystery. I haven't heard, well I've heard of this brand before because they sell colored pencils. They have a few different um, versions. They, I know they have a Marco Renoir, which I believe is um, very similar to the Spear Farben pencils that are really popular. And also the um, Cezanne pencils that are very popular. Then they have Marco Refine, which is a, like a student grade type pencil. And they have the Marco Tributes, which I've used, which are a lovely pencil. Um, they're a Chinese company, and uh, I didn't know they did oil pastels, but I think they might even do soft pastels as well. There's not a lot of information on the box. I flipped it over, and I did try using a Translate app to see what the... Um, uh, what it said on the back. I didn't know if it would say maybe made in China or made in Korea. Generally when I'm looking at pastel products I see if they're made in Korea because Mungio makes a lot of really nice pastels and the prices can fluctuate quite a bit. So if you, you can find almost the same pastels from many different companies and the prices can just be all over the place. Um, I did swatch these out com and compared them to a few other brands that I had and I found them to feel very much like um, the pastel tones of the Paul Rubens and the um, the uh, Mungio soft oil pastels and also they felt quite a bit like Sennelier. I wouldn't expect they would be the same because there's no pigment information but as far as feel wise they're a very soft feeling pastel. There's 24 colors in this particular set and um, this was sent to me by Anstel Stationery Store on AliExpress. They have sent me products in the past and generally I find the quality to be pretty good um, and the nice thing is generally the products they send me are kind of when they're first coming out. Um, they must have some um, information or some special deals, I guess, for the manufacturers that they get their products before they come to Amazon. So it is kind of nice to have these products reviewed before they're, um, before they're out there all over the place that when people can think about it and see, you know, are these the same what they already have and just to know a little bit about it before they go blindly into purchasing. So on AliExpress, I looked them up, they are priced at $39.27 for the set of 24, which to me feels a little high for um, oil pastels. And they have a regular price of US $60, 60 that is, at 41 cents. So they're 35% off. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of that price is actually shipping because the shipping rates from China to America have have gone up. So depending on where you are in the world, these may be vastly different in price. So um, it's a pretty good quality cardboard box, uh, chipboard box, I'd say. And uh, then you've got your foam to keep it from getting damaged in transit. And then you've got a piece of glassine to keep the foam from getting all dirty, I suppose. And then um, obviously this isn't a brand new unboxing. I've played with these a bit so that I could give you some information. I didn't think this would be the most um, exciting thing to unbox, so I decided to do it this way. So here is what the pastel looks like. It is about the same size as um, your typical oil pastel. So I'm just gonna grab one that's um, just kind of a store brand that I suspect is made by Mungio. Same exact size. And um, feeling wise, they felt very similar. So I just grabbed a piece of mixed media paper. Um, just play, it's smooth, it's not like the sand grain kind, but um, the this column here and this column here are the Marcos, very creamy, very, uh, very easy to smudge. I could take a few tones here and actually blend them together for you. You can see they go down very thick and opaque. blend together very easily. I didn't find them to be um, gummy or sticky or anything, but they are they are thick and smooth. So um, I guess if you put enough down, it could feel a little bit sticky because they are, they're an oil pastel. That's kind of their, that's kind of their deal. Um, they felt very soft, very similar to a, um, a Mungio or a Sennelier. Definitely softer than, say, your Pentel. So it's going to be very easy to fill up the tooth with these pastels if you're not careful. But I was pretty happy with the color selection. You can see it's kind of a muted palette. So if you already have some pastels, chances are these are going to be colors different than what you already have, which I think is kind of nice. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I have some artwork to share with you that I've done with these. Um, and these the product, projects done with these work up very quickly. And because of that, you'll probably end up wearing down your pastels pretty quickly. So I've done two pieces of artwork. And just to show you an example of how much I have worn down that pastel, um, they give you two whites, which is nice. There's 24 colors plus two whites. So it's 26 pastels in all. 
Um, I recommend having a rag with and a bottle of alcohol so you can just kind of wipe your fingers off as you go between colors. But um, they had this is this is what they look like. Actually, this one hasn't been used yet, so you can kind of see what a full size stick looks like. I gra I'll grab a ruler here so you can you can measure it. Um, this is about two and three quarter by I'd say about a half inch wide. These are bigger than the Snellier standard sticks. Okay, so let's take a look. So just to just to refresh these co the colors on this column here and this column here or what comes in that set plus white. So it's it's definitely a muted almost like a muted fashion or desert landscape type palette. Um, the first thing I did with these actually was this cupcake and um, just kind of getting a feel for it. I was able to build up pretty thick passages very easily. This is on the Canson Mixed Media Sand Grain Paper, so it's got a good texture to it. The colors blended really well. This took me probably about 15 minutes, I would say. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, and um, yeah, I enjoyed them. The only frustration I had here was that there was no really bright red, so to do a bright red cherry, there was no black to get really deep values if I wanted to do that, and there also wasn't um, any super deep values. The darkest color I would say would be that kind of plum color or maybe that brown, which could make mud. These are all very opaque colors. I would say they all, or yeah, I would say they all have a, a certain amount of white in them. Maybe not that Viridian. That was probably the darkest one. I actually did use that for some shadows on the cherry. So you're kind of limited with your darker value colors. You don't have many and they all appear to have a little bit of white. Now that white in there is probably why they feel so soft and creamy and not gummy. Because sometimes when you get the, the more transparent, vibrant colors, they feel sticky and gummy. And I think that's why these don't feel sticky and gummy. Not that the quality of these pastels are um, the same quality as Sennelier. I think it's because they have white in them to make them creamier because Sennelier, you can have really vibrant, transparent pastels that aren't gummy. Um, you know, just, just to give you a little bit of why do we pay so much more for Sennelier, I just wanted to kind of give you that little bit of a um, of an explainer there. And this landscape I did, I wanted to do something with some colors in it. And so this uh, photo of Mount Rainier that I found on Unsplash, I thought was really nice because we had a pretty sky with some wispy, um, sunsetty clouds. And then the mountain has a little bit of, um, a little bit of clouds, cloudiness in it, mistiness in it. I thought that would be kind of fun to do with these pastels, given a limited palette. Um, I would say these are nice pastels. I would recommend them. However, I would say that 40 bucks is too steep for a set of 24 uh, pastels that are the equivalent of a uh, Mungio pastel or a Paul Rubens pastel. The Both of those brands are similar in quality but much cheaper for, or you get a lot more for that price. I think like the Paul Rubens you get about 50 for $25 and the, um, I think it's about the same, I think you get 20, you get 48 of the Mungio for about $24, $22, $24. Um, and that's in America on Amazon. If you're going to shop on AliExpress, um, which is where these are available. I don't think so, these are available on Amazon. You're going to pay $39.27 if you're in the United States. Um, as I said, that's going to change depending on where you live and where you're shopping from. But um, I would say, yes, they're good pastels, but I think they're a little high for, um, you know, for what they are. But uh, oftentimes prices, when something's new, the prices starts off kind of high and then it gets lower as um, as the product comes out, but um, yeah, you can you can kind of judge from that whether they would be for you. I think, yeah, if you get a chance to try them, go ahead and try them, but just watch the price because they do seem to be a little bit high. Uh, this has been a short review because um, I feel like I've said everything I need to say about these. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye!